the ring of a round bell, the rattle of a speed bag, sights and sounds foreign to most of us. But for 28-year-old K.J. Noons, this is his office, where he prepares a grand presentation <laughs> that will be delivered inside a cage. for strike force right now. I got an upcoming fight June 18th. Been training really hard down here in Southern California. Probably have, I think, combined between boxing, kickboxing, MMA, probably, I think, uh, over 40 pro fights now. So, I mean, I've been fighting for a long time, man. Born the son of a fighter, KJ carries on a family tradition along with his own. He has now trained since he was just six, earned a championship status in his weight class, and seen it taken away. All of this has brought him to yet another showdown, this time against fighter George Masvidal, that will take place on June 18th, less than a month away. A win would mean KJ is back within reach of a championship belt. <laughs> Yes, I was working and sparring a little back, I headbutted a couple times. Usually I don't have this mascara on me, you know what I mean? This, uh, this war paint or whatever. These black guys, man, usually it's, it's uh, what, hit and not get hit, right? It's that Hollywood effect, give me that Hollywood look. <laughs> a black eye is a minor outcome of the risks involved in the fight game. Over the past six months alone, KJ has broken a rib, his nose, his wrist, his foot, and both of his hands. Fortunately, at times, wrist holds rewards. What's going on, guys? We're at Quality Toyota, trying to get another car, maybe a hookup on something, because we've been traveling all around Southern California, sparring, working. It's kind of tough to share, you know, a small Honda Civic with three people. So, we'll see my boy Biff at Quality Toyota and see if uh, we can work some out, maybe get a car. You, you, you came here to get a car because yeah, you need so, something while you're training and stuff like that. Yeah, so uh, what, what kind of car? I mean, so you can, you can dial me in? You you're done, dude. Okay, can, uh, what kind of car is it? I'm not telling, it's a surprise. It's a surprise? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to open big time. There's your surprise. You see this crazy guy? You see this car? It was just uh, so amazing to have just such nice people that are just willing to help somebody out. This is the nicest truck that I have and it, 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 it fits his style perfectly. I would say that's 100% ass kicking truck. And he, uh, you know, donated the car so I could get my training camp and, and whatever else. I'm gonna be training for a while, so it's, he's definitely hooking me up. I mean, this is the sickest car I've, I, I mean, to me, this is sick. I mean, I, I used to, I've had some, uh, I used to have a pretty couple nice cars. I like really nice cars, but this is just a, like my style, you know, white, black Rams truck. It's just a lot of space. It's easy to throw all the, the sweaty stuff in the back. And I'm just, I'm just totally stoked, man. I feel like, uh, I feel blessed, you know? That's the best way I can describe. I just feel blessed. Late. I'm sorry, I kept you guys waiting. <laughs> School is going to be in set. School's in session? So School is going to be in set. So you're going to one, two, level change. Level, there you go. Right here. That's it. One, two. Okay, go ahead. That's what we're looking for fluidity, punches and bunches. Yep. Punches and bunches equal knuckle lunches. <laughs> <laughs> Kimo Kamani Rigmaiden met KJ when he was still doing homework at the gym back in Houston. They've trained together now for 13 years, almost half KJ's lifetime. As trainer, Kimo is there to mentally prepare KJ. As a longtime friend, he supplies fighting spirit. Everywhere we go, people want to know who we are. So we tell them, 
Right hand, money shot. That's who. That's who. But while KJ confides in Kimo to be there in his corner, his strategy revolves around no excuses. I, just like to, I like to take my own hand, you know? Um, had surgery on this hand too before. Broke both hands. Like I said, this is like an everyday thing for me, you know? It's like tying your shoes. You can't tie my shoes every day for me, you know? I just like, I like, I like the feel, you know, I can feel it. Also, you know, in the ring, you know, everybody wants to blame everybody else for whatever problems, the coach or the diet, this, that. In the ring, it's a one-on-one -on -one event, so you can only blame yourself at the end of the day. If I win a fight or I lose a fight, you know, I can't blame it on somebody because they wrap my hands wrong. That's me, All right? When that bell rings and that door closes, no matter what, my fiance can't hold my hand, my coach can't tell me what to do, all those guys, and if you have one camp, they're not gonna help you in that ring. Nobody's, gonna, it's gonna just be you and that guy. On October 9th, 2010, KJ was defeated by opponent Nick Diaz in a unanimous decision. I don't really even think of it as a loss. I mean, I feel like I won the fight, so I just continue and just try to get better, better myself. I have to look back at the fight and see what could I have done better so I can become a better fighter. Up, up. Up, up, up. And what MMA got punched and kicks like this? Huh? But however close and whatever the cause, every official loss will keep the title shot one more fight away. It really makes you question yourself about your character, your will, and your determination. In general, in life, this can be, you know, almost like a life lesson for you. So you gotta get up, brush yourself off, and try again, you know what I mean? I have done that in the past. That's what makes really good fighters. That's what makes really good people. That's what makes really good champs, is if you can take a loss, look at the ups of it, and, you know, turn yourself around, brush yourself off, and get up, and, you know, swing again. The countdown to a match can be a time bomb of energy that takes its toll on everyone involved. In the chaos leading up to the fight, it is important for KJ to remember to take a deep breath and celebrate those who got him there. We're down here at the, uh, down in San Diego downtown. We're gonna grab a nice bite to eat with my sister. It's her birthday, her 21st birthday, so we're gonna go and have a good time. Yeah. Then you're gonna win, and then you're gonna fight for the title, and then you're gonna win. Then I'm gonna pull all my money on her second 21. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back to myself. Oh, very, very, that's it. I don't want to fight. I want to fight all day. What are you gonna do in Vegas? What am I not gonna do? Yeah, some guy like got my number, and then um, Joe goes. Joe trained with KJ. Joe was like, oh yeah, that's KJ's sister. And he's like, oh. Melanie has now been with KJ over eight years. Their wedding is in less than four months. As companions, every win or loss is inevitably a shared outcome, and training is not only done in the gym. So I'm not your typical girl that just watches fights and things like, oh my god, this is two guys fighting and beating each other up and there's blood and all that kind of stuff, you know, like I actually understand the sport and I look and I see and I, and I um, observe the technique more so. So it, it calms my nerves down a little bit because I know that he's very technical and he's not just fighting, he has a plan. The weight of a loss on a fighter can often be heavy enough to create a career-ending pattern. For KJ Noons, it is crucial that it remains an isolated incident. I'm confident though, I'm confident in my team. I'm confident in how I'm training. Game plan's simple. Rule number one, keep your hands up. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. And rule number three, whoop that ass. A new year, a new era, and a new opponent. For this young but seasoned fighter, a new win will mean a long-awaited chance to once again become champion. With Melanie at his side and Kimo in his corner, all that's left is the drive that has brought him this far and the lack of excuses that keeps him face to face with glory.
This is KJ News Uncaged. This has been a Ubiquity Broadcasting Corporation production. All rights reserved.